get your, you know, your head uh, swimming about um, all of this, um, I am actually disrupting your mindsets right now. So it is kind of blowing some things up where you probably are feeling like, oh, what in the world? Um, which is a good thing because it, it is causing some disruption to shake up the, um, the current norm. And the reason why this is such a good thing is because if you're not already getting the results, uh, and actually if you're not really getting the results that you really desire, I'm going to say congratulations. That's actually, believe it or not, a good thing, even though it feels like it sucks in the present, <laughs> but it's actually a good thing. And the reason for that is because you, you can't get caught in the hamster wheel of what's already going on if you're trying to create something new. You can't do unprecedented things and really um, change the game if you are still going along kind of the same structure that most people are. Again, even the ones who are being what they call highly innovative, they still don't realize that they are innovating within, as Queen Renee hears me talk, they're still innovating within the same container, mm -hmm. which means that that evolution is going to be, um, you know, very limited. So you'll find that the creative process of this, like I said, is very nonlinear, something I can address really quick and without going into uh, too much detail is uh, Queen Renee probably can even uh, attest to this. I will say cre start creating this specific thing, but do not get focused on that aspect as being the thing that's going to bring, you know, uh, the money and the results a uh, certain ways. Move the energy because it's going to start opening up the channels more so like most of you have heard me use the reflexology um, analogy where with reflexology, and Joseph is a reflexologist, so that's one of his <laughs> many uh, talents as well. Um, you know, you touch a certain point on, on the foot and it stimulates another part of the body. So if you want to stimulate the liver, there's a section between the big toe and the second toe, um, just a little bit down, it's called liver three. And so when you rub in that area, it starts to stimulate the liver. So in stimulating the liver, you aren't actually rubbing the liver, you're rubbing a different area. So our wealth creation processes and things are, are much like this, where we start creating a specific thing and then we think, okay, let me put that out there. And you need to put it out there because you have to test it and everything. But we start looking in a very linear way of how the results will come from this one specific thing and keep trying to leverage that over and over where if you actually start moving the energy in a different area, <laughs> um, it will actually open up for that thing to start moving. The reason why most products or programs don't move or books or whatever don't move in the capacity that they are moving is because there's more that wants to unfold from it. So if it takes off and becomes this quote unquote big signature thing that you're trying to make it, you're going to miss the multidimensional aspect, that uh, Matroski doll effect, the, the Russian nesting doll effect. And basically the reason why most businesses and products are not moving is because nobody is in touch and in tune with those to start unlocking that. And it's like I said, they'll keep making things and that's cool, that's fine. But, um, but good luck with how that starts to move and how that starts to, you, you'd be efforting quite a bit, uh, putting in a lot of long hours around it and, you know, feel inspired around the creative process and know you were guided to create it. And then when you start le unleashing it into the world or releasing, excuse me, into the world, it may get some traction, but really not what your expectations are. So again, one of the reasons why this is, is because <laughs> there's more to it than meets the eye. Just like our businesses, there's more to those that meets the eye. And moving into this newer experience, um, this, like I said, starts to open up everything. Now, I know that we are now at 2.48, so that's 45 minutes. Uh, so anybody that may need to jump off, um, you know, do you want to come forth and say something? Because I'm going to open up this space for just a little bit, um, you know, so that if we want to actually get into some on the spot support, um, you know, we can do that. I'm okay. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, 
All right, so before I start going down another rabbit hole, so 